just 50 years ago, it would have been unheard of for Russian engines to power American spacecraft. But it's the reality of a bilateral cooperation. RT's Maria Finoshina traveled to the Russian plant that produces some of the most powerful engines in the world. From Russia across the Atlantic and ultimately towards space. These are the rocket engines used for historic missions, like the first spacecraft visit to Pluto. Known as RD-180s, they're used to power America's Atlas boosters, which send satellites into orbit. The international RD-180 program is an example of the bilateral cooperation between Russia's Energomash and the American missile building plant. This cooperation is quite beneficial for everyone, especially that for now, the production of RD-180s in the United States is not set in place. The deal to supply the RD-180s was signed in 1996. Since then, Russia has sent more than 40 engines to America out of the 101 agreed. As well as NASA's Pluto mission, they also powered the recent bombing of the moon to test for water there. From an assembly workshop to the airport, Russia's rocket engines travel like VIPs. This journey to America happens around four times a year. But while today the technology link with the U.S. is rather common, few could have imagined that some 50 years ago. That's when America's Atlas rocket began its life, the era which saw the arms race at its height. It was originally designed as an intercontinental ballistic missile to deter and possibly strike the Soviet Union. Today, though, the main target is simply mutual interests between Russia and the U.S. It enables the Russian space industry to generate uh, some extra income and, uh, as we all know, this industry is currently not very well financially provided. It also enables the United States uh, to get uh, good rocket engines uh, at a reasonable price. And from a political standpoint, it shows uh, how successfully could Russia and the United States to cooperate in the field of dual-use technology what surely contributes uh, to the development of mutual trust and understanding between the two countries. For 75 years, Russia's Energomash has designed more than 50 different types of rocket engines. Among them those that put the first artificial satellite into orbit, as well as sent the first human into space. With the collapse of the USSR, the work of Energomash was practically abandoned. But the multi-million dollar RD-180 project has revived the space giant, taking Russian technologies to the world and out of it. Marie Finoshina, RT, Moscow.